Welcome to the Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Podcast. This, Dr. Millicent Ravello, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. How are you? I was going to say that this is our one year anniversary episode. I know. It is a very special day for us. One year. I know. We've been doing this podcast for a whole year. I don't feel like it's been that long at all, but I guess that's a good thing, right? It's great. It is also, not only is it our one year anniversary of the Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Podcast, it is also September 30th when we are recording this, National Podcast Day. Oh my gosh, the whole constellation of great things <laughs> all coming together for this one day. I don't know what <laughs> podcast day means, but we have a podcast and so, so it we is should celebrate. Our, it's our day. We should have had cake. Oh, that, 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 that would have made, made it something. Better. Dang it. All right. Um, I'm going to... You know, there's a sprinkles like oh yeah, uh, there's an ATM ATM down the <laughs> down the street here, so we could do that. For those of you who don't live in the LA area, sprinkles <laughs> is like cupcake crack, oh, and it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Yeah, not not uh, unless you want to put down five thousand calories, try to stay away. <laughs> so I want to talk about your recently published article. Well, it's not your article, but an article in where you talked about right plastic surgery during the COVID-19 pandemic. It was a really cool thing. Right. So this was a Financial Times article that came out recently. Not, not, a, not a small publication. Not a, small, a few people have heard of Financial Times. Yes. And they were so. <laughs> they reached out because they wanted to get some background information on what was happening with plastic surgery in the time of COVID. And this has been a discussion that's been sort of battered around in several publications starting probably around June or July of this past year, when we noticed this huge uptick in plastic surgery cases, more than there were obviously during the major shutdowns of COVID, but even more than we had at this time last year pre-COVID. And so it begs the question, why? Well, and I mean, I have my theories, but I think, you know, there's, there's really a whole host of things that are causing it. What did you tell Financial Times? So there are multiple reasons. And I think what it comes down to is that people who have kept their jobs that are still in good financial circumstances are not spending their money on things they might otherwise have spent their money on. Mainly in the summer, what I was seeing were people who had canceled big trips. They weren't going to Europe. They weren't taking family vacations because they literally couldn't. So not only did they have extra expendable income, they also had the time. So that's the other thing is now people have time. Time's a big thing. I mean, just think about when you're trying to get anything done, you need to really plan. You need to plan and people that are now working at home or have seen maybe a decrease in their workload, um, especially in the earlier days of the pandemic, had time to do their research, to really you know, go onto people's websites and decide what they wanted to do, look at things. So they had the time to plan, but even more importantly, they now have time to recover. So people are working from home. They don't have to go into the office. So they can take maybe a week or a few days off and then just work from home like they've been doing. Yeah. I mean, those are all great starting points for a boom in plastic surgery, but it gets deeper. I mean, obviously, I think one of the biggest issues is there's no place to spend your money. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to go? Like you can't go anywhere. <laughs> so if you are making money, if you're one of the lucky people right. that have kept your job and you are still working, you can't take a vacation. Nope. You can't. Where are you going to fly to? Nope, you can't go anywhere. You can't fly. You don't want to... Risk gonna, getting on an airplane. Yeah, I mean, like, wh yeah. what are you doing with your money? So you know, savings is yeah, going I mean, up. Yeah, I mean, just even speaking to my girlfriends, you know, they're not shopping for clothes like they used to because there's nowhere to go. Where are you going to wear them? Um, even just smaller upkeep things, maintenance things, like maybe your fillers that you put in your lips. Who cares? You wear a mask all the time. Or your weekly manicures. Not doing them anymore because... I've stopped doing mine. Salons are closed. So, I mean, I this is it. maybe more... <laughs> I just... I was going to go with that. I was like, yeah, okay. You do your nails every I week. Do, I should do manicures. It'd be awesome, but I just don't. But I mean, especially here in LA, here in California, we're still in a bit of a shutdown for a lot of things. Bars, nail salons, massages. So yeah, there's nowhere to go and not a whole lot of things to spend your money on. And 